My name is Michelle. I am 39 years old. In 18 months, I fought and beat cervical cancer not once, but twice. Pathologists confirm my cancer was caused by the strain of HPV known as P16. I was not sexually active for five years prior to my diagnosis, and I'm uncertain when I was exposed. I was amazed to learn that HPV can lay dormant for a number of years. The pap test detected adenocarcinoma in 2015, but unfortunately the detection was too late. The tumor on my cervix was already three centimeters. Less than a year later, my cancer recurred, and at the time of surgery, a 15 centimeter tumor had grown on my ovary. I am angry, angry at myself for being ignorant. Prior to my diagnosis, I was not well educated on the HPV and its related diseases. I was aware that there was a vaccine available for young girls, but I did not know at my age, I too could have been vaccinated. Cancer has cost me the ability to have children. Radiation and chemotherapy have left me a lifetime of side effects. I am seven months cancer free and I cannot afford another recurrence. I wear my surgical scars as a badge of honor. I am stubborn, determined, and have always remained positive that I will be a survivor. <laughs> cancer has given me a gift. I've obtained a perspective on life that few can understand. I have found my knight in shining armor, and I have found the love of my life. My message is simple. You have to be your own health advocate. You have to educate yourself and make informed decisions. HPV prevention is the key to ending cervical cancer. I am thrilled Canada is leading the charge. I am grateful for the FMWC and the SOGC for championing this cause, and they have collaborated to create HPV Awareness Week so no other women or men will have to go through this journey. Thank you very much.